Everywhere in the air, there's particles. Tiny particles deriving from factories, cars, and other means of transportation that can be seen everywhere in our modern society, and those from nature like dust, pollen, salt, etc. Altogether, a lot of particles in every cubic meter of air. Large amounts, in this case up to 245 cubic meters of this air, passes through an aircraft engine every second and some of the particles get stuck on their way. Particles that impair the engine's efficiency, thereby raising the fuel consumption and the emissions of carbon dioxide and nitrogen oxide from the engine. To treat this problem, GTE has developed a system that cleans the engine without the need of adding any detergents. It's simple, safe and efficient. A common problem when it comes to cleaning aircraft engines is that the water on its way through the engine is expelled to the bypass duct by the centrifugal forces of the fan section, thereby not reaching the core of the engine. GTE has solved this by using hot water under high pressure combined with nozzles, making the water droplets just the correct size to travel through the engine on the same path as the contamination. This combined with a swift and easy assembly and the fact that nobody has to work within the hazard areas during the cleaning process means an efficient, safe and environmentally adapted way of cleaning the engine. To illustrate this, we shall now follow a complete cleaning process of one of the engines on this Boeing 737-600. Please observe that the procedure may be different for different engines, aircraft types and airline operators, and that this demonstration is only an example of how an engine cleaning can be conducted. Begin by filling the cleaning system's tanks with water. If possible, use warm tap water to reduce the heating time. Make sure the water quality is according to the specification in the aircraft maintenance manual. Turn on the main switch and begin the heating of the tanks. When the temperature has reached 60 degrees Celsius, the heating is automatically turned off. During the heating time, you can prepare the engines that are to be cleaned. Open the fan cowl panel. Disconnect the PS3 line at the EEC and put end caps on the line and the EEC connection to prevent water from entering the system. On the flight deck, prepare to dry motor the engine. As this procedure is different for different aircraft, please consult your aircraft maintenance manual for specific instructions. Park the cleaning system at least five meters away from the engine inlet and connect the power cord. Mount the water spray nozzle on the lower lip skin of the air intake cowling. Then attach the security strap at the rear flange of the reverser duct and connect the high pressure supply hose to the spray nozzle. Now everything is set for cleaning of the engine. From now on, it's not necessary for anyone to be within the hazard areas. Start the dry motoring of the engine. After 10 seconds of motoring, press the pump switch on the cleaning system and turn the pressure regulator until the outlet pressure reaches 60 bar. The specially developed nozzles make the water droplets just the right size to travel through the engine gas path on the same way as the contamination, instead of just being expelled to the bypass duct. This is clearly visible from the rear side of the engine, where a steady stream of water can be seen exiting from the core. After two minutes of motoring, stop the pump and the motoring of the engine. Let the engine soak 
for five minutes. Then repeat the cleaning process once more. Two minutes of dry motoring with the cleaning system pump turned on after 10 seconds and then five minutes for the engine to soak. Now, for a third time, dry motor the engine with the cleaning system pump turned on after 10 seconds. This time though, turn off the cleaning system pump after one minute of operation only and motor the engine for the remaining 50 seconds. On the flight deck, reconfigure the aircraft for normal operation. As this procedure is different for different aircraft, please consult your aircraft maintenance manual for specific instructions. Remove the end caps from the PS3 line and the EEC connector. Use air or nitrogen to clear the PS3 line of possible traces of water. Do not blow air or nitrogen into the EEC as this can severely damage the system. Connect the PS3 line to the EEC and close the fan cowl panel. Finally, flush the water from the lube, sumps and bleed systems. Please consult your aircraft maintenance manual for specific instructions. The engine wash is now completed. GTE has, by using hot water under high pressure and specially developed nozzles, making the water droplets just the correct size, developed a system that cleans aircraft engines in an efficient and environmentally adapted way. Swift and easy assembly and the fact that nobody has to work within the hazard areas during the cleaning process contributes to shorter maintenance stops and improved safety for the maintenance technicians. The simple assembly and disassembly without the need of inserting nozzles or other washing equipment into the engine also reduces the risk of engine damage in connection with the cleaning process. Choose simplicity, safety and efficiency. Engine cleaning in an environmentally adapted way. Choose GTE.